So the Niners have had a good free agency. A lot of people feel this team is as good, if not better than the one in 2019. Trent Williams is, is an upgrade. Alex Mack is an upgrade. Uh, Debo Samuel's older. Brandon Ayuk is good. Um, I mean, Buckner's not here anymore. But other than that, it's a really, you know, here. But does anyone, come on. I know Niner fans are excited and optimistic, but my attitude, I, I, here's, here's my attitude watching the Niners free agency. I was like, oh, wow, you got you brought back more players than I expected. All these guys coming back. Nice. I really didn't think you could do that. Third place in the NFC West. Nice. You you accomplished everything you wanted to accomplish. Best case scenario, you finished third in the NFC West. I just don't say, you know, best case scenario, they, they're a wild card team and they lose in the first or second round on the road. I'm, I hate to be negative. But isn't that kind of the attitude here? It's like, yeah, so you might even feel like this team is stacked. This roster is stacked the way it was in 2019. But I, does anyone really take them seriously? Is anyone calling them a Super Bowl contender? I think no. And I think there's a couple of reasons. And one of them is the injury issue. Like, we felt the Niners team was stacked last year. I, I predicted they would go 12 and 4. A lot of people thought they would win the NFC West. I, I said Tampa would. And Niner fans yelled at me, like, how could you say that? Tampa's proved nothing. The Niners are established. The Niners have pedigree. And then, you know, the season fell apart instantly. And a lot of us felt like the Niners needed to, like, maybe go back to the drawing board and change some things, tweak their formula. But the Niners don't feel that. The Niners feel like, no, we got the formula. We're going to run it back and prove that the only reason we were 6-10 and 10 last year is the injuries. Fine. In the, in the postseason press conference, I asked Kyle and John Lynch, hey, guys, what is the plan to address the injury issue? I understand there's a, lot of, there's a lot of reasons for it, but what do you guys plan to do to find the source of the problem? Because that's the question hanging over the team. Yeah, you have injury issues. How can you fix them? Because to say that it's just a fluke, how could it be a fluke when they're, when they, or they're an issue every year? They were an issue in 2019. A lot of players got hurt. They just came back. Jimmy didn't get hurt. They were a huge issue in 2018. They were a huge issue in 2016. They're an issue every year. Why? So they haven't said their the conclusions to their uh, test or whatever they did to find out the answer. But what I'm looking at is like, I don't, I don't think they really addressed the injury issue. They brought back the whole team. A lot of these guys got hurt last year. A lot of these guys are older. And they all came back. So to me, the attitude is, you know what? It was a fluke. There's no way that all these guys are going to get hurt again. It's, it's a statistical improbability. So actually bringing back all these same players is a good idea because there's no way you can, lightning can strike twice, right? I think that's what they did. Basically, their solution for the injury issue is let's cross our fingers. Let's take a step back and look at this you know, from a statistical probability perspective and say, you know, it's just, it can't happen. That was somehow a perfect storm last year and it doesn't happen twice in a row. Okay. Well, we'll see. To me, the best solution to this problem isn't just hoping. Hey, you know, I, I just got a feeling it's not going to happen two years in a row. And if it does happen, it's a great excuse. Everyone in the Bay Area buys it. We say, oh, man, this team would have been great, but there were injuries. And everyone eats it up. Hey, you're right. It's really good. It's a really good team. They had injuries. Again, next year, maybe they won't have so many injuries. I don't like it. I was hoping the Niners would actually do something to address this, like younger players, players who have no history of missing a ton of games. But no, they just brought back the whole team. And the attitude is basically what they've been saying the whole time. Those were flukes. We're going to be back next year and we're going to be healthy. Okay, well, you better be. Because if you have all the injuries again, I, I'm not going to be the one hammering the Niners. It's going to be the fans. Fans are optimistic now. They're optimistic in March. When the plan falls apart in September or October, they're not optimistic. They're not forgiving. They're worse than me. So we'll see if it works out. I just feel like the plan was no plan. You know, let's tempt fate and see if this won't happen again.